Good morning, healthy and fit New York. Um, Angela, Daily Bite of Health, and I'm about to finish off my blog, uh, and the blog is going to be all about this book, this amazing book that I picked up at um, uh, what's that? Well, one of my favorite stores in New York City. Anyway, Gastrophysics: The New Science of Eating by Charles Spencer. And the book is all about the way we eat, the experience of eating. Um, you know, we all eat, uh, I don't know, two, three times a day, but um, every day, right? And we all think that we know a lot about the eating, why we enjoy our food, how we enjoy it, like with what, with our tongue or, um, uh, I don't know, other senses. And um, uh, we all think that we are good at eating and we understand the process of of eating, why we get full uh, from certain foods, why we like certain foods, why we like eating in certain places. But it might be not as, as straightforward as we might think. Like for example, you might not know that most of your taste does not come from your tongue, but comes from your um, uh, smell, sense of smell, that uh, you have actually two senses of smell, one that happens in your nose when you inhale something, smell through your nose, and one when you uh, actually eat the food, and um, there are some um, aroma molecules um, getting free uh, from your food at the uh, back of your mouth. That's the, another sense of smell you have. And you might know that your sense of smell uh, really affected by all the whole experience, uh, like the music you listen to when you eat, or uh, the chair you sit, the chair um, that you sit in, sit in when you eat, or what you touch, or what you hear, or the company, or how the food looks. It all affects uh, how you like your food, how much of the food you eat, how full you feel, how often you eat, what kind of food you eat. So uh, the um, actual food, what's on your plate, uh, is not the biggest uh, part of your eating experience. And um, environment is much more important. And that's why in our uh, modern times, when we are surrounded by advertising, by food images, images almost everywhere, um, and so often, uh, countless times during our days, that's why people eat more and more. Not because really the food got much better, but it got worse, and not really because the food is so addictive, but because of all this environment that promotes eating, food is much more accessible, you know, it's everywhere, and you, your mind is constantly like um, uh, reminded of foods. Anyway, this book, Gastrophysics, um, it talks uh, it talks about our food experience, the music we hear, uh, what kind of plates or um, forks or spoons we use to eat and how it affects the way we, uh, we feel. Uh, about our food, how we enjoy our food. Um, there are a few uh, advices in the book specifically um, targeted to people who want to eat less and enjoy their food more, uh, to lose weight and, uh, yeah, and eat healthier. Um, like for example, um, I don't know if you knew, but eating from small plates with a lot of food on it tricks your brain into thinking that you actually eat more uh, compared to bigger plates with a little bit of food in the middle. Or uh, having, like I didn't know, for example, that eating from red plate actually makes you eat less uh, just because of the color. And uh, scientists don't really know why exactly, but it's been proven um, more and more times with experiments that people do eat less from red plates. Um, not so much from blue plates. But they think maybe it's because it's um, a sign of danger or while our senses get overstimulated. Nobody knows, but that's how it happens. Or hiding your food, make it inaccessible or seemingly unavailable, um, out of sight, out of mind, makes you eat less, makes you want to want food less. Or, um, for example, consuming anything cold with your food numbs your taste buds and you want to eat more just because your food experience, your eating experience is much less 
sensible, meaning like you sense much less because your taste buds um, are numbed. So never uh, drink cold water with your meals, one of the advices. And never also use a straw when you drink something because it also lessens your experience of food, you taste less and you want more of it because your brain doesn't understand that you actually consumed more. That's why also eating whole foods is really important because you get more of a food experience. So if you chew something compared to, let's take apples. If you take whole apple and eat it compared to pureed apples or to juice especially, you're gonna feel much fuller uh, from whole apples just because you have to chew it and you get more taste of it and you also um, get longer experience because you chew the apple and um, of course there is more fiber so your brain gets more and more cues about how much of food you consumed whereas if you just drink ice cold apple juice uh, your brain thinks you consumed nothing you tasted nothing and you're gonna want to consume more calories um what else was fascinating in the book um well, drinking water before your meals, 30 minutes before your meals, half a liter, um, makes people consume less food, at least 40 calories a meal. Um, that's what the studies show. That's what you probably know. Um, and then eating with heavier bowls or plates or silverware makes you actually want to eat less because uh, your brain thinks that you consumed more food just because you sense more weight. Um, I don't know, that's just mind-blowing for me that so many senses, so many cues our brain gets from actually not the taste of food or the kind of food, but all the other uh, cues that comes with the experience of food. Um, and uh, another just fascinating thing, uh, what do you think makes the your experience of food or your meal more memor memorable? A study show it has almost nothing to do with the taste. Uh, it has more to do with the novelty at the beginning of the meal, how your meal starts, how your meal ends. And what you consume in the middle, your brain kind of just phases off. You don't really remember it after, I don't know, a few days, a week. That's why the most, like the smartest chefs, pay much more attention to greeting the customer, to present, presenting the meal, to making their appetizers and desserts um, irresistible. Not so much the main meal, because main meal you probably will not remember unless there is something of, I don't know, surprising fact or a novelty or some music or something really unusual that will make you to remember the meal. So usually people remember the beginning, the end and the whole experience. Like if the waiter knows their name or the waiter, I, I don't know, made something special for them, specially for them, that people remember. The food itself, especially in the middle, kind of like, um, you know, I don't know, blends in with everything. So that's why appetizers and desserts are such huge items on the menu uh, where a lot of chefs, smart chefs who know about that, put um, a lot of their efforts. So yeah, gastrophysics, the new science of eating by Oxford professor. Um, yeah, I love the book. Uh, I almost finished my blog about it uh, with um, quite a few takeaways about how to eat less enjoying your food more scientifically and really knowing what your eating experience is all about. It's not all about what you taste. Angela, Daily Bite of Health, thank you for watching, Stuart and Michael and um, any anyone. If you have any questions, comments and um, anything, just let me know. Um, read the book if you get curious really good book i loved it so much um, and eat healthy uh, eat less enjoy more and that's the way to lose and maintain weight for life bye